BMW X3 with not starting. No communication to the engine. Actually, that's in the instrument cluster. It's not even recognizing the engine control module. ABS isn't speaking to the engine either. Hey. I've got power for the big wires and a ground on the big ground wires. Need to check the other wires for power with the ignition on. And I need to check for canvas. Oh, one other thing this gets really hot when it's plugged in, so I've disconnected that. And the coolant temperature sensor also shows that it's hot on the gauge. It's gone right up to the red. It looks like the can low. Okay. Now I'm going to move to the other wire. Up here. That's the can high. Can't check them both at the same time because I don't have my scope. My other scope. So I'm getting some sort of canvas. That's where I cut the wires to get to be able to check for a signal canvas. Got the powers in here on the grounds. Canvas. When I get in canvas coming into it, no signal coming out of it. So I'm going to send this away and check it. Okay, you ready? Wait, hold on, it's going to get there, I guess. Mm -hmm. This is my car that I'm using to demonstrate the BMW a little better. So I've got the same setup here where these wires are cut, the canvas, and it's got the can high, the can low going into here and I'm just using this one channel scope but the point is you can see that's the can high we've got the two and a half volt line that's constant whereas the BMW had no information going on it it was just a straight line because it was faulty but this is going and sending information and if I go to the can low it will be the other way it will just go down see there so it's going down on that one, whereas the BMW didn't show anything, but I'm on the ECU side, so that's coming out of the engine computer. It's not coming through the wires through the wiring loom, because they're disconnected. This is coming through the engine computer. Now I'm on the wires at the wiring loom, and it's actually, oh, there you go. So we're getting information through, that's the can high, and on the car's wiring loom, and there's the can low. I was going to put the four channel scope on to show it a bit better, but the main point is this was just easier to set up. And now I'm back to the engine ECU if you look here. See, it's not even connected. And we get a canvas. And that was the point I was wanting to show for the BMW. It was just a constant flat line. There was no information coming out of the ECU. And that's what I was checking for. It was the signal looked good. It wasn't messy, the resistance value was fine, but there was no information coming out of the ECU. We're only getting information coming into it. And all the all the modules on the card on the canvas network, they all send the same they all send out information. So this one wasn't and the only way I could really check was either deep pin it or just cut it and join it together. So cutting it and join it together, that BMW ECU was sent away and repaired and the people that repaired it said they could see a problem on the canvas line and um, that's, that's okay now the car runs. So I just wanted to show you this on mine to explain it a little bit, a little bit more why I cut it because you see a signal coming out of, out of the ECU as long as it's got powers and grounds that's why it's easier rather than connecting up everything. You can just cut the wires and rejoin them again after. I hope that clears it up a little bit. Thanks for watching.